Hugh Dugan is a former special envoy hostage for hostage affairs. He joins me now. Hugh, you and I worked in the same administration, the Trump administration, which had great success in getting American hostages home. Robert O'Brien, I know you know him well, your predecessor. We're learning now that there's no ceasefire tomorrow. It looks like there's a push of this deal by 24 hours. What do you read into that? Well, thank you for having me, Kaylee. Um, it's a matter of us uh, tempering our expectations because uh, Hamas is not a good faith player. Um, they don't respect hostage lives, but they're using hostages as their own life insurance. I think the effort on their part is not only to destroy Israel, but to humiliate the U.S. as well, and hopefully out of the region, uh, as they seek to be proxies for creating an alternate hegemony in that region, ultimately with Iran as their broker. You know, what do you make about the terms of this deal? It's three to one, you know, 150 Palestinian prisoners out mm -hmm. and then 50 hostages back. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's unbalanced, but you know, we can't continue to speak about people as commodities. We have to pull back the lens and, and realize we're talking about the bargaining of human life. And this is a sacred thing. Mm -hmm. um, we, we need to come at this with maximal response because taking an, a hostage is tantamount to an act of war. So we can get into head count and, and try to play poker with this, but this remains an online poker game, unfortunately. And we've got to do our best to show resolve and turn the tide on the uh, terms here. Uh, basically, we should be telling Hamas, return all the hostages, surrender, and you will live. Those should be the conditions. Makes sense, and I, I like the way you phrase that. You know, little Kafir Bibis, a tenth of his life spent in captivity, the youngest hostage. Uh, what a beautiful thing if he got to go home and be with his family. I want to ask you this. Part of this deal is that the Red Cross will get to go in and assess the remaining hostages, give them medical care. How much will the Red Cross be able to gather in terms of the condition of, of these hostages, the way they're treated, their environment? We'll see if this is actually implementable. Um, there's a fog of war, there's mistrust, there's confusion, there's anger on the ground. I would be very impressed if the ICRC and the Red Cross and others would get access relatively soon and then in, on the terms that we would need. We need a lot of information. We need proof of life. We need names. We need nationalities. One half of these hostages, over 200 people, are from 29 different countries. I believe our country should try to coordinate with them and establish some mechanism so that we can exert maximal pressure on Iran and show resolve against this heinous practice and to recover souls who are suffering right now. Yeah, we want to bring those babies home, all of those 240 hostages. Hugh Dugan, thank you. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.